Hey guys, how's it going? So today, mom and I are heading out toward Boise. We're gonna pick up Monica on the way and we're gonna do some shopping, possibly antiques, Christmas shopping, people wanna buy shoes. Shoes. It should be a good day. Is the truck defrosted? Oh, not quite. Look at the two little spots. It's not thick though. No, it's not. All right, we are heading to Monica's first. What's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. Monica's got her tree up. I like the bead garland. It is classic. Mom used to do that. Oh, I like this ornament. Oh, that's really pretty. Maybe we should pop out here real quick for a little late in the season update. Oh, you guys look with a layer of frost on the grass and cleaned out raised beds. Also, they went to a buying show, Monica and her husband, Nick, and my parents for the garden center, and they won this bench. It's a teak bench. Isn't that awesome? And that was the goal in the back here is to have a bench for them to sit on. So it worked out quite perfectly. I'm gonna have to ask her what, what's with the blocks of wood there underneath, maybe to protect the legs. I don't know, <laughs> I'll ask her. Oh, but it looks so pretty. Hey, Monica's question. Yeah. What's with the blocks of wood? Oh, under the I, legs? I thought you were gonna ask about yeah. that. Nick uh, was putting teak oil oh. on it a couple days ago. Gotcha. And thankfully, before it started doing all these hard frosts. So, yeah, yeah nice. no, it's, so it's still up on its risers. <laughs> Just like, haven't taken it off. He did it a bit taller, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I was noticing the uh, ornament garland. Oh, yeah, Mom That's got cute. me that last year. That's the one I got you, Laura, with the green. Oh, yeah. But you, you took yours off. To I did. Make it. Just so I could hang them individually. Yeah. yeah. And then the little itty bitty tree. Yeah. All our childhood ornaments. Yeah. Yeah. These are the ones we used to put on our tree when we were little. These little bells. These be yeah. bells, it seems like they were bigger when we were littler. I know. Everything does. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you're a little kid. Oh, yeah. So what yeah. are you looking for? Shoes. Yeah. And just anything. Cool. I don't know. I'm just in the mood to shop, so. Nice. Yeah. I've and you're lost, looking for shoes, too. I've lost my brooch. You've lost your brooch? Well, Samantha Grace was looking at it today, uh -huh. so I know it was on at your house. We've got to find, we'll find it. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I think our first stop is going to be for coffee and possibly something, some kind of delicious treat. And then we will head to our first stop, which we're not even sure what it is yet. But I do think we're going to head possibly to some antique stores today. Yeah. It's just going to be kind of a, a random day, I think. Fun day. Here it is. Oh, your brooch. Oh, are how, you kidding me? Rude. I'm so glad that you noticed it was gone. Me because too. that would have just been sitting in the I gutter. Know. It goes right here. Like that. See? Oh, nice. <laughs> Hooray. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I got a cinnamon crunch latte from Panera, which I think I've been to Panera like twice in my entire life. <laughs> I <laughs> love Panera. Both times with you. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right, guys, our first stop is the mall because we've got to go to Williams Sonoma. Yeah. And we got to look at shoes. Darn. Mm -hmm. I feel like for anybody in our family, you could pretty much pick up anything at Williams Sonoma. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you'd be and good. And we'd love it. Yeah. Oh, I like these. Yeah. Aren't those pretty? I like this whole thing. Yeah. It's really pretty. I wish they had a butter dish in it. I want a Christmas butter dish real bad. <gasps> I love this. Oh my gosh. The little tray. That's so, yeah. that would have been the little things I just made. Yeah. Those little Italian Neapolitan oh, yes. holiday cookies would have been, so been so cute so on there. That Peppermint bark butter. Oh my. What oh would you my. put that on? A spoon. A spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nice spatula. I like that. Is, <laughs> that is I love a, that Those is are a my dandy. most used but tool in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. That we yeah. I use spatulas. I like use crazy. those. Do the you most. use a lot of spatulas? I do. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all kinds of good gift ideas right now. Oh, these nice. are for olives. Oh. oh, look at look at how cute Does is she this? For olives? Do, oh. <laughs> I like wooden stuff. Like I love this. Mm hmm I love that. It's so pretty. And look at some of these bowls. I mean, just beautiful pieces of wood. Mm -hmm. I saw this. Look at this. This is wood with a marble, but you just put that out and there's oh, little cheese knives. Cheese knives. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and a salt cellar. I like that hey Monica, coach. have you yeah. seen those bread warming baskets? So it's a basket that's like this big and there's a stone at the bottom that you heat up in your oven. You put the stone at the bottom of the basket and then put your bread that you've baked oh. on top of it and it keeps it warm the whole Nick meal. Nick would die. Oh. 
because like warm bread and butter, like really? he wants to eat it right out of the oven when I bake bread, oh, and then sorry. after that I have to like make garlic bread or something because mm -hmm. he won't eat it after it's like not fresh. Yeah. So that would yeah. through a whole meal. Through a whole meal, yeah. Oh. I'd like one of those pepper grinders like you have. Oh, I bought it here. Is it right, this one right here? Sorry. Yep, oh, yeah. that's it. I'd, I'd like that. I like mine. I think there's a holiday coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Are those the new ones? I'm gonna get them. Yeah, I like them. Okay guys, I just found the prettiest ornaments. But I'd like to have five. I've got three. Are there oh, two here's more? One. Here's one. And if you see any nutcracker theme too, I need to amp that tree up a bit. Here's another one I found, Monica, if you don't find one. I don't see one over here. Okay. That red one's kind of pretty, look at that. Yeah, it's super pretty. That's really pretty. pretty. Oh, the vintage. I kind of thought that these were sort of neat. They're so I have like, that. Oh, you do? Uh -huh. The bell garland. Oh, the garland. But I, I have your garland from Andrews. Oh, yes. But I like these too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if I got a that box and then this little box right here. What do you think about these though? Yeah, I, I don't the, care. I like these. Those I are did, pretty. I did do tinsel one year and I loved it. Yeah. But that's when I had a tree, a real tree, so I could oh, just throw it all away. All uh, little kids at the end. should have a the, tinsel tree. Like, yes, yeah. and they should have the experience of putting them on like strand by it strand. Was so oh. I loved having it. And then it moves with every little breath of air. <laughs> oh, all the tinsel pretty. moves. And it's, oh, there's donuts on this tree. What? Ooh. <laughs> oh, there's big donuts. That's and kind of a fun tree, a dinosaur isn't it? With a, they are. A dinosaur with a donut around its yeah. neck. I'm not oh, quite sure what that is. But it's just a candy My tree. My kids love the donuts. That's I love funny. the donuts. Bing trees are fun. You yeah. see the White House decorations for this year? It's a lot of like that nutcracker on top. No. It kind of is a lot of Candyland looking I stuff. I haven't looked. Oh, there's bejeweled butterflies. Like big <gasps> bejeweled butterflies. Ooh, oh, yeah, I have butterflies on my I saw tree that. in the Hartley. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm going to be careful. <laughs> oh, I think I might have to have a couple of these. There's one right there. Where? Right in Oh, that box. right here. Yeah. Aren't they pretty? Yes, they Should are. Should have three? Yeah, three. They have clips on the back too, which oh, makes it really nice. Perfect. Also, look at this. Really look how pretty that is. Uh-huh. Pretty pine Very. cone. What are your thoughts on flock trees? Ooh, I like them. Do you? There's part of me that really likes them. Hey, I like this one. Look at that. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, thank you. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? And that's that marker glass, huh? You know what? I like that. Oh, this stuff doesn't fall off quite yeah, as easy. Fall I say off. when you're, imagine the yeah. mess when you're fluffy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mm -hmm. have an appreciation for all kinds of stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Those are pretty. They are pretty. They'll, they'll catch the light really they well. They will, in the Hartley. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But we're not used to this kind of shopping. We're used to we're antiques. We're used to scavenging, like, yeah, total. outside in a shed. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Are there, so what all places are left are we going to over here? Um, I don't know. Are we going to the Antique World Mall via the Thai house? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you feel the Thai food? Oh, I'm always feeling Thai food. We are at the Pad Thai house because it was on the way to the Antique World Mall. <laughs> Isn't that handy? Here we yeah. go, spicy noodles. Monica got spicy noodles with chicken. Mm-hmm. Mom and I got the same thing. No yeah. meat. No meat. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, look at this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, so we're actually at DWF, which is a wholesale florist place because mom wants to look for some ribbon. I think we might skip antique stores today. We've got a few other stops for more Christmassy related things. We're going to go to Etavola to their Christmas shop and then hopefully Franz Witte. They've got some beautiful ornaments. That's where I picked up the butterflies and birds last year that ended up on the Hartley tree. So that's kind of the plan. Are they open? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Oh, aren't these beautiful? Oh, they're like in, in sections. Uh-huh. That's cool. It's really pretty. You're looking for something mossy green. Yeah, and I'd like it to be kind of a double-sided satin. Sure. Not wired. So something like this, but in a different color. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ooh, right here, mom, look. Oh yeah, that's it. Yep. And it's called that's moss. It. Yep. That's really pretty. That is beautiful. I like that. So, that's pretty though too. Yes, with it is together. Different Isn't textures. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This will last a good long time. There's a lot of ribbon on this. I kind of like the a white one too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Who wishes they had like a storeroom in their house? 
that was like this. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, it'd be just wonderful. Yeah. I love, look at that. Yeah, that, that is pretty. nice. That's pretty. See, I'd like walls painted this color. Yeah, it's really pretty. Wouldn't that be a beautiful color? Yeah, you should just take that in and have a color match. I should, I should mm -hmm. have a color match. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun supplies. It's weird, I'm just kind of in the mood this year for just straight greens, just something very simple without as much um, stuff in it. I don't know. From year to year, it's just different. You get in different moods. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna go take a look in their cooler. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's so fun. Okay, we're just gonna take a slow walk through here. There's some mums. Look at the bird of paradise. Whoa. Where? Oh wow, look, look at, at those. That. You don't see that very often. No, you don't. Yeah, Maria? Oh, but look, oh, look at this. That is gorgeous, oh. gorgeous. I love the smell. The eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. And I love the seated, right, look at this. That That's is pretty. amazing. Yeah. Right there. I did a bunch of this last year. And it held for a decent amount of time. It did it. And then it, when it got really cold, it kind of nipped it. Oh, yeah. But it was interesting to try. Yeah. Got some beautiful juniper berries right oh there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's intense. Like really silvery, pretty. But look at this juniper right here. It's so airy and oh. gorgeous. I was looking through some of my summer photos from this past year, last night, because I'm already kind of craving the color. I need to see oh. color again. This will do it for now. This kind of feeds the, oh, English Monica. Roses. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Like English roses. Oh my goodness. Oh. What's the name on those on the side? David Austin Juliet. Juliet. Oh, oh. beautiful. My favorite, my favorite roses. If I had a bucket of water here. Uh, yeah. I, oh man. Oh my goodness. I'd want to snag I, those up in a hot minute. You never yes. see English roses. Cut. No, you don't. That's so pretty. Oh, look at these. Mom really needs to see those. Yeah. That's yeah, really like hot chocolate. Yeah, like hot cocoa roses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. That is beautiful. I always love orange roses. Yeah, you're a fan of the orange. I am. I never really thought I would be, but I need to find a spot in the yard to put to put one. Yeah. This is my other favorite rose color. Oh yeah, those oh, are gorgeous. I love that. Wow. Oh, and then with some blue delphinium. Oh. Look how pretty. As much as I'm ready for summer to be over for a while, like I see this stuff and you're like, oh. I know, you want it back a little yeah. bit. But just maybe for like a week. Yeah. On and off for and a week. And then we'll go back. <laughs> week. Yeah. When we know it's supposed to snow later in the week, you know, just. And these are always fun. These are the long base life flowers yeah. right here. Yeah. Beautiful. We've got some amaryllis growing, some narcissus over oh, there. My amaryllis are up like that much. You know how far mine are? Hmm. That. I'm much. like, am I going to have them for Christmas? I don't know. But once they start, they go that fast. happens fast. Yep, they oh, do. Look at the... Oh, yeah, the winterberry holly. Berries, that's, that's so beautiful. Pretty. Yep. We didn't even get holly this year because when we have it to put in the wreaths, it dries up so oh, fast. Yeah, that's what Dad said. It just really doesn't last. Poinsettias and houseplants over here. Oh, they look really nice. Those are fun. The variegated ones, not quite jingle bells, but That's close. Amazing. These right here, like are they bird nests, what do they call them? Kangaroo something, I don't know. This type of fern is the easiest one. They're such great plants. Kalanchoes, full bloom. Did you, you saw the Juliettes in yes, there? Yes, they're beautiful. Yeah. Look at this, so this is pretty. That cedar garden, yes. that's pretty. That is really pretty. We gotta remember that, Laura. Yeah, all right, so mom got her ribbon. We got kind of a flower fix in there. And now we're gonna head to Etavola. They've got a Christmas shop going and we'll probably get a drink and possibly something sweet to eat. Yeah, it looks really cute in here. So oh, look at this paper, mom. Isn't that pretty? How cute. That's a peak. Yeah. Oh. Recipes from there. Yeah. Ooh. I can't hardly ever resist a good cookbook. Yeah. And I've been wanting good Italian cookbooks. Yeah. yeah. Vanilla sprinkle cookies. Yum. Mango lemonade. Mango lemonade. Nice. Yum. Okay. Christmas shop. Here we come. Ooh. Look at how beautiful it is in here. Oh, that smells good in here. 
It's so pretty, you guys. Look at the big old nutcracker. Aaron would want that. I'm so gonna get these one one day when I have my big draft horse. Yeah. I'm gonna get some big bells. Yeah. Get them now. I have them hanging on my doors. Do you? <laughs> Why wait? Yeah. Oh, uh, I have a couple of these ornaments and I love them. Ooh, Taraco orange. Yum. Look how cute these yeah. are. Oh, how cute. Oh, those are cute. It's like on the little mini tree. Yeah. Oh, that is what started it all. <laughs> you put one of those in my stocking, and now I have to have those all the time. I, what do you think of this? They're the best. <laughs> That's cute. That is cute. Yeah. French red currant candle. Look at this beautiful thing in the glass dome. My goodness. Oh, I like these. Look at these. Mom. Isn't that pretty? These are kind of pretty. Look at this one. Oh, it's got like a, a boa or a... Yeah. Nice. Oh, well cut, that makes sense. With a bread knife to cut your oh, slices. Cut all the way through. That's yeah. cool. That's clever. Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty with those, like a tonal thing. Yeah. With those thistly looking things. Yeah. Oh. oh, I like these pine cones. Mm. Those are cute. Yeah, they are. Nature tree. Hmm. You did well. Yeah. For Three my rolls wrapping of paper. Wrapping paper and I got a tree topper for my silver tree and I got some new or more recipe cards. Nice. And check this out, you guys. Look at this wrapping paper. It's called Christmas in the Air and it is so beautiful. Yes, it is. I got two rolls because that's all I could find. <laughs> Plus, I picked up four or five ornaments that'll be pretty on our great room tree or the Hartley tree. Okay, we are at our very last stop for the day. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Franz Witty. I'm so excited. They always have some really pretty ornaments and things. And mm -hmm. even though we didn't go to antique shops, I feel like it's been successful. Oh, yeah. We have had a great day. We yeah. have. Yeah. all kinds of stuff. You should see the truck. It is just loaded with bags. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Atlas Cedar. That is yeah, really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. And what is strung on here? What is that? Oh, there's straw flower. Oh, Garlands. Straw no, flowers peppers. and peppers. Oh, they're peppers. Pellibors. The sleigh is pretty. Did you oh, see that, that sleigh? Oh, that is pretty. Look yeah. at that, you guys. Oh, they have some pretty containers. That is really fun. Yeah. Their front containers right here. Did are you really see the pretty. hellebores over here? Aren't those beautiful? There. Yep. Oh, that makes me excited for spring. Oh, yep. Yeah. Those are super pretty. Oh man. Oh, oh my wow. Just get a little cart. Oh, they have they really parts. gone for it. Look at it in yeah, here. Yeah, they have. My goodness, this is yeah. pretty arch, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Monica, there's jingle bells. <gasps> oh, that's my favorite. Ah, yep, there that's it is. my absolute favorite. This gray, white, black thing yeah. is real pretty. With that gold. Is really Isn't pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. With the gold. Oh, gold man. mirrored ornaments. Here's bees. <gasps> oh, oh, my word. At, yeah, and look at these. Like those, hot air yeah. balloons. Oh, hot air balloons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need one of those. You would want one of these? Put one in the cart. <laughs> okay. That is so pretty. Tinsel. It is pretty. Oh, tinsel tree. Look, tinsel upside tree. down. <laughs> upside down tinsel tree. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody finds any really cool Santa or Nutcracker ornaments. Okay. Okay, guys. So we just put one of these in the cart for me. My mom got me a, uh, it's a hot air balloon and then it's got little gold strings and then in the basket there's a Santa Claus and it's on my Santa tree. It's one of my favorite ornaments on that tree. Oh, you guys, here's a vintage tree chopper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? There's another hot air balloon. Look at those. Oh, look at the ballet slippers. I think this is a really, really pretty set. You know, you could put this on a, um, a nutcracker tree because it's ballet. Oh, of course you could. Oh, yeah, that one's really neat. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, you should probably put that in my cart from a Santa tree, yeah. unless you want it for it's your tree. It's a beautiful one. Oh, Isn't that look beautiful? at these. I love this. Look. Isn't, Isn't that, that pretty? Like a laurel wreath. Right. Yeah. Look at this. Is this that is for a candle? Oh my. That's pretty. Or you pretty. could do it as a planter too. Uh -huh. Look at that runner. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, and it feels nice. It's a little cooler out here, but not much. Wow. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Poinsettia tree. Yeah. It'd have to be hooked up to drip, right? Yes. I'm sure it's got the whole infrastructure in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. Really, really they pretty. They do such a fantastic job. Oh, a bunch of little succulents. The aeoniums are always so pretty. This time of year, I think they, is it this time of year that they have the more color? 
seems like they do anyway. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Well, that's cool. There's some clearance items over here. I think that's a pretty bench. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what this screams to me? What? Mites. Yes. Isn't that sad? <laughs> we look at this beautiful plant. There's just certain ones that you're just like, it's not worth it. They can be beautiful, but that's gonna get mites in the first two days that I have it in my house. Two days? <laughs> Even though I don't see anything else with mites right now, this one will attract it. <laughs> look at this, and the sun is shining through just perfectly right now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's all in bloom. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that cute? Yes. Look at that, you don't see them in bloom no, like that No, that's very really often. neat. And look at this little tail top. Oh, out. that's cute. Yeah. They usually have some really nice, that's where I got my little bird one. Yeah. Didn't you get one like this, Mom? Here? Yeah. This is the red heart I arrowhead still have it. vine. It's still alive and well in my pocket. Is it? Bed. Well, that's yep. a pretty one right that there. That's a beautiful one. I like them before they start Me too. trailing. I like them like this. I'm not a huge fan of the trailing plants. Yeah. Once they trail, anyway. Right. What is that variegated? A mon monstera. monstera. It's pretty, isn't it? Variegated Monstera. Yeah, those yeah. are really pretty. That's $500 oh. for one. Holy moly, oh my rare. Oh gosh. That's a beautiful plant though. Oh, this is in a rare house plant section, so let's look at the rest of them. Yeah. Fun. Philodendron White Princess, right here. Ooh, this is a good looking one. This is really nice. pretty. Yeah. And then this one is a philodendron gold, golden violin. What is this? The pink princess. I have one of these. Yeah. This is a big one though. It's pretty pretty. Holy moly. Oh, out of the whole day. This is the kind of area that just, I love. I could spend all day in this, in this spot. I got a bunch of fun ornaments, you guys. We're gonna have to go around and put them on our trees tonight when we get home. All right, guys, we are going to be heading back now. We're gonna drop Monica off at home. Once we get back to the house, to our house, uh, I will lay everything out and show you what we ended up with. All right, guys, it is the next day. Good morning. It is a bit lighter outside, so maybe a little bit easier to see the stuff in here. I don't know, maybe not. I thought we would run through the hall and then we will put the ornaments that we bought yesterday on the trees that I intended them to go on. All right, here it all is. Kind of a wide assortment of things, I think. I mean, there's stuff for the kitchen. There's some food, ornaments, wrapping paper, plants. But I wanted to start right here because this was my highlight purchase from yesterday. This is Samantha Grace's first leotard slash tutu and first pair of ballet slippers or ballet shoes. Uh, she's gonna be starting, it's called Little Leapers. It's a ballet class for two and three year olds. And I'm just so excited about it. She saw this on her way up to bed last night and she was like, oh, is that for me? Uh, so I think it'll be, it'll be fun. Moving on from there, the plants we got at Trader Joe's right here, a rosemary topiary, which is beautiful. And then three of these, they're called silver sand calicephalus. I think that the, like the big sign said silver bush in front of them. And they're just kind of like this really cool look and I don't know very much about them. What does it say? Zone nine through 11, keep soil moderately moist, keep in bright to sunny position. I thought we could put these in some sort of a mixed arrangement. I mean, it looks beautiful with the rosemary. Um, it would look beautiful with the white cyclamen that I have. So we'll just incorporate these into something. Um, also, while we were at Trader Joe's, I got a few food things. Um, some gummy candies for the kids, 
chili and garlic cashews. I'm going to tuck this into my dad's present because he loves cashews and he loves chilies and garlic. So I hope those are good. And then dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's, which we will probably open today. And then when we were at the mall, you know, we found these vintage ornaments, which will be going on this tree right there this morning. I have some that look similar, but we don't have a tremendous amount on that tree. So I'm excited to put these on there. Uh, these right here, I got five. I love the length of these. And uh, we'll see if they fit on the great room tree. And then three of these glitzy butterflies, which have a hanger, but they also have one of those little clips, which is so nice. And I thought we would just add these to the Hartley tree because we've already got some butterfly ornaments on that one. So that would go perfectly. And then my most favorite wrapping paper ever at a Tavola. This is called Christmas, uh, let's see, Christmas in the air gold foil. And there's like topiaries wreaths, pine cones. I mean, it's just a really beautiful paper. I love it. How many yards of it is there? Probably not a ton. 30 inches by six feet, two yards. <laughs> that won't stretch very far. Okay, and then when we were at Etavola, these are the ornaments I picked up. So I love this one. It's got kind of like, actually kind of matches my sweatshirt. Um, it's got kind of that champagne pink color behind the gold. This will look beautiful on our great room tree. These and the pine cone, I thought we'd put out on the Hartley tree because they've got that glass with a little bit of glitz. And then at Williams Sonoma, I got some waffle mix. That's just for us. We're gonna probably have those for dinner tonight. And then I got a couple of meal starters, which these are really good. I, well, this one's good. I've not ever tried this one, but it sounds delicious. Delicious. These are for my grandparents. I'm going to toss these in with um, the other stuff I've got for them for Christmas. Uh, just anything to make meals a little bit quicker and easier, but still delicious. And then I got this little hot chocolate disc to put in my niece's stocking. I thought that would be really fun. And then we got some ornaments at Franz Witte, starting with these three really beautiful wreaths. They're all different. They look kind of vintage. They've got a hanger here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna want them on a tree or if I'm gonna wanna hang them somewhere else. We'll just have to see. I just thought they were beautiful and I knew that I would think about them if I didn't buy them. I got two ballet slippers right here, ornaments, to go on our nutcracker tree. And then I got a hot air balloon. I just think that's so beautiful. This will go on the great room tree. And then these ornaments, you guys. So these Santa ornaments. I didn't realize that these are like collector type. Christopher Radke, right? Radco. They were expensive. I think these are the most expensive ornaments I now own, but I didn't realize it until I got home and I was unpacking and, you know, cutting the tags off of everything. And I know when I was at Franz Witte, it seemed, you know, a little high when uh, she rang me up, but I thought, you know what, I got quite a number of ornaments and they are nice, nice ornaments. So I just like, it was like a fleeting thought. And then when I got home and realized, I thought, oh, Oh my goodness. I mean, they are beautiful. I will treasure them. But yeah, if you look those up online. Whoo. Right in between, uh, between ouch and boing. Wow. So I think this is like Santa's snowy scene or something like that. I mean, they're gorgeous. And maybe we just started ourselves a new thing to collect for our Santa tree. And then this one's like a peppermint stick Santa or peppermint candy Santa, something like that. Anyway. They are beautiful and they're large. And then a pair of shoes that I bought. I think they're so cute. They fit really nicely and I think they'll be warm for this winter. These are Sorrells called Joan Now Chelsea. Yeah, they're just really comfortable. And you know, I'm weird about when I look down at my feet about how my shoes look, which I know that sounds weird because I usually wear blown out vans with holes in the sides and uh, they look pretty bad, but I don't like to wear boots that look like really chunky on my feet. And these are like nice and slender when you look down at them. So I really like them. So now I'm gonna use one of these empty boxes. We're gonna gather up the Hartley ornaments first. Butterflies, glass, pine cone, and this one. Let's head out. Ooh, looks like the artichokes got nailed in the last couple of days. Yep, I think we're gonna cut those back and close the lids. Okay, let's find the perfect spot for these. Look at the kids' sand stuff, you guys. Samantha comes out here every single day, a couple times a day to play in the sand. And a lot of it's on the floor at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some shifting here. Beautiful.
Oh, oh, that's the perfect fit. Oh, those are such a beautiful addition. I put them all kind of on the front side of the tree because that's what I see first. I usually try to disperse around the whole tree, but I want to see them right when I walk in. I love those. Okay, we're going to run inside and real quick, I'm just going to put the rest of the ornaments out. that is going to be it. I popped back out here because the kids are just getting up and they're having their breakfast. But I love where all the ornaments ended up. I think they fit in beautifully in all the trees. And it seems like there's always one shopping trip during the season where we end up finding a bunch of beautiful ornaments. And it's just something I like to collect through the years. Um, you know, kind of thinking back to when Aaron and I were very first married. I mean, we were young. We didn't have a tremendous amount of things. And you know, acquiring Christmas decorations is kind of the last thing on your mind when you're first getting married. And our wedding was in September. One of my mom's friends gifted us for our, our wedding gift, a set of beautiful Christmas ornaments. I still hang them on our tree because she was gifted a set of beautiful ornaments at her wedding and it really stuck with her. And look at me now, like 17 years married. And I still think about that wedding gift. Every time I get it out, I think that was the smartest thing to give us a wedding gift because when you're young and don't have a lot, you don't have a big collection of gorgeous ornaments to put on your trees and you know I would go and get the big tubs of Christmas balls and the glittery snowflakes which I still use some on our trees but through the years I've kind of um, you know taken those off in favor of some of the more beautiful ones that I've picked up throughout the years it's just something fun uh, to look forward to every year kind of adding a few extra pretty ones but if you need a wedding gift idea that's a good one I loved it I still love it so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always the shopping videos always feel a little bit like <laughs> like a mess uh, because we were all over the place. I mean, not only did we get what I showed you just now, but we did a bunch more Christmas shopping, like a bunch more. Uh, we stopped at a bunch of random stores that other family members and friends like and picked up little things here and there. I think I'm about 75% done and here we are just at the very beginning of December. I I'm never that organized, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. But I think the next thing we're gonna have to work on holiday-wise is working with some fresh greens. I've got big boxes of fresh greens to put some wreaths and garlands together, so that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.